Hello again YouTube, my name is Derek, or Like in 101, and welcome back. Today's video is going to be about DM organization and what I do to stay organized. So what I like to do is to create a binder, or two in my case, where I have all my information that I need as a DM in one place. And this is what I do to stay organized. So here we go. This is the giant three ring binder that I use to stay organized. Now I'm going to go into detail and show you, give you a little glimpse of what I do. So first things first, blank lined paper. I don't know how it's to show up, but hopefully you can see it's just blank paper. You never know what you're going to need it for. Maybe someone wants you to draft up a map. Maybe someone had an interesting idea and you want to write it down and uh, maybe use it for a side quest one day. So let's get past all this blank paper and uh, move on to my first section. Random adventures and side quests. Now, when you're adventuring, you never know what's going to come up. You know, maybe someone wants to go off the beaten path and come up with something else. And maybe you, as a DM, mentioned something. Um, just some little blurb that you said, and then you have to create a full side mission for it. So what I like to do is I like to print out certain missions, like this was a whole mission called Natural Selection from one of the old Dungeon Magazines. Now, I just had it printed out, ready to go. Um, one time a, a group decided they wanted to do a side mission and I had it ready to go. So, it's good ideas to have just lots of random adventures, or if you just want to do a one-shot, you've got these. Uh, there's tons of websites where you know people have just posted their own ideas, their own adventures. Um, lots of websites for that. Just search D20 Adventures. Here's another one. Just listen. They're pretty in depth when you when you're looking at the ones online. Um, they have everything you need. Sometimes they have stat blocks. So let's move on to the next section. Just a nice little section, a little envelope to hold all the handouts. Because to me, handouts are very important. And uh, maybe one day I'll get around to doing a handout video. Maps can go in here. Anything you want that you feel is small and might get lost or that the players can misplace and you want to make sure you have for a later date, keep it in there. The next section comes up as a nice picture from Pathfinder, DM Tools. This is the section that is the holy grail for me and I refer to this often. I've got charts in here from the player's handbooks, the dungeon master guide, just as a quick reference sheet for me, uh, tr price charts, certain things like that, uh, random plot ideas that I can just generate up, um, just uh, just different things. And uh, I can't remember where I got this, but a handy section called tavern tables. And what this does is it generates a bunch of different um, names and possible features for different taverns because you know a staple of Dungeons and Dragons or any role playing really is the tavern story so it's kind of handy when you can say oh yeah so you just happen to come to this tavern and instead of just sitting there trying to think of a name just roll a d100 in this case and let's just say oh you're at the yellow troll oh look at that you instantly have a name and then it's something that your players can go, oh, the Yellow Troll, what an interesting name. And then it's something that they remember. Um, moving on past tavern tables. There's just more stuff. I have articles that I've got from um, dungeon magazines, dragon magazines that I've photocopied. And uh, just interesting things that I thought may come in handy someday. And to almost to the last section, over halfway through now, is the maps and dungeons section. So, in here we've got everything I need to make new maps. We've got graph paper, we've got printed and um, hand drawn maps. Some of these are, this is a piece I drew myself. Uh, very in depth for a starting location for a campaign. Um, then we've got some print pieces using Map Maker software. Nice sapia of a little pirate kind of island going on there. 
So you never know when these adventures or maps might be needed. Um, and then uh, at the very end, if you're ever using miniatures, some tile sheets. Just if you don't have a flip mat. Then we come to the last section, which is the giant folder within the binder. And now here we just have random things that, um, you know, just I picked up along the way or feel might come in handy. Like this very interesting piece. This was originally a bag that I received when I went shopping for, I don't even remember what, but it has like an old nautical chart all across it with monsters and um, cupids and cherubs and ships and just something I figured, hey, you know, may, why not keep this? could come in handy. More charts, um, character information, concepts that I want to start, uh, just anything that doesn't fit into one of the other sections just kind of lumps all together in this giant binder. So this is how I stay organized, and this isn't the only way to stay organized. Um, you can do whatever works for you if you'd like to use your computer more, or if you feel that you don't want to have all these print pages lying around, then please, by all means, use whatever you feel is best. Um, I know there's a couple other videos out on YouTube by uh, SamY7RPG, Tim. He has a, a video where he does 3 by 5 card. Um, organization and if that works you know go right ahead and use it or come up with something else uh, I'd like to hear what everyone else does to stay organized um, once again I'm Derek and uh, thanks for watching